go visit your grandparents. Now, I understand that I'm speaking from a point of privilege. I'm 26 years old, and I still have two grandparents left, one from each side. But go visit them. There is a video I watched on YouTube. I'll link it in the description of this man talking about, and he was in his 30s, talking about how he lost his grandma two years ago. And, you know, some life happened, but she was just down the road and there was always more time. And, you know, she ended up having some strokes. And I think he said it was like a 100 yards or something like that, a road he could have taken to visit her. But for years he didn't. And now he has to live the rest of his life in regret that he did not visit his grandma. I was also at the YMCA on Saturday and this man was in his 60s or 70s. And he was talking about how he wishes that he could have went to go visit his grandma more. And to think that he is at this older age, and he was talking to somebody else. I was here us one. But how he still realized how he could have visited his grandma more. And he wishes he would have taken that opportunity. Now, I'll say this. My grandfather, the one who has passed away, he died June 1st, 2011. He died of cancer. At the point, he was given six weeks to live, so we expected him to die. Well, it's not expected, but we thought it was going to be, you know, closer to maybe 4th of July, maybe the middle of the summer, possibly the end of June when he was to pass away. He died June 1st, six days after he was given six weeks left to live. And... I've seen people who are close to death, who look close to death, and he did not look it. You know, he definitely was not 100%, but he did not have the look of death on his face. It was just one of those went to sleep one night and struggled and didn't wake up situations. But what I can say is that everything my grandfather needed, anything he needed help with, I was there for. I was only, I was a couple of days before my 16th birthday, but anything that my grandfather needed, I made sure that I was there to help him with. I, even though I did not know he was about to die like that, at 26, it's been 10 years since he's passed away. I know that I have no regrets that I did everything that I could while he was alive. And yes, I would have liked to know that he was closer to death than what he really was. But from what I know, I have no regrets in. I am, I'm happy about that, that I knew that while he was alive, I did all that I can do. So if you have grandparents alive or older relatives or even not necessarily older, and here's another thing, do it while they're healthy. My grandfather's wife, the one who was still living, my grandmother, I got a camera. It was about $150. Nothing too special. It's definitely not a YouTube great quality. But just to record videos and pictures, do it while they're healthy. You don't want them to have a have to have a couple of strokes or something like that in order to start capturing, you know, moments with them. Do it while they're healthy so you can enjoy the most of their life and yours with them as well. So Keep in track with your older relatives and make intentional opportunities to do that.